guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're doing a video that's a bit where we're going to talk about how to reset parts of your world if you're moving to a newer version of Minecraft. So I've been playing on 1.14 for about a year now. 1.15 has been out for ages. So I really want to upgrade to it, but I've been waiting for Rob to find the come out for it and now it's almost out or maybe still a pre-release this version might come out anyway up to finds most ready so I want to move my world to 1.15 and the reason I want to reset some of my world is because a huge part of my world has actually loaded but most of that is just me flying over chunks therefore those chunks generate I generate as 1.14 chunks. So I want to find the chunks that I've just spent hardly any time in, I've not built anything in, just flown over them or just close to them, and or they generated those chunks and I want to reset them so they can regenerate as 1.15 chunks. I can find bee nests and things and not have to go too far away to new parts of the world to find it. So now in 15.2, all I've done is take my survival world, copy it into the saves, from the saves folder 14.4 to the saves folder 15.2. Here it is. Also got some of Il Mango's world downloads from his videos. So, if you try and load it, it gives you this message. Do you really want to load it? You're now in version 15.2, and you click I know what I'm doing. So, so far I haven't removed any chunks, I haven't edited the world at all. So we should join, that's where we left off, those glass blocks. Still in creative, even though I, I play in this world, I do it in survival. Going to exit our game. Going to, now we're going to go download a tool called MCA Selector. So just search on Google for MCA Selector. And this GitHub page. Go to the releases tab, download the latest jar file. Okay, once you've downloaded the MCA selector, right click and hit open. That will open this window. So, <clears throat> so once the MCA selector window opens, go to file open and we point it to our Minecraft saves folder in 15.2 saves cast away and we go to the region folder hit select folder that will open our world and use our mouse wheel to scroll in click the mouse wheel and drag to move the world we can select chunks our left mouse button and unselect with our right mouse button. So with MCA selector, we can select chunks and go to selection, delete select chunks, and that will get that will delete these from the world. Then when we next visit them, they'll get regenerated as fifteen or as one point fifteen two chunks. Can just right click, left click wherever we want. Select the right chunks to delete. So if you know exactly which chunks you want to delete, like we do, you know there's a chunk over there, over here, last block on it that we want to delete. You can select that, and note that the chunk numbers are at the bottom, and these correspond to what you see in your um, F3 screen in Minecraft. The interesting thing about MCA selector though isn't the manually selecting chunks because if you really wanted to you could go to your region folder and find the chunks. Um, best thing is the filter chunks option. So if we delete these preset filters then we can add a filter or, or we can add a data version if you wanted. You could 
find all chunks generated by 1.14 and delete those. That would obviously delete your base and stuff. Um, although you could limit it to X and Y, X and Z positions on the map, so you're only deleting from certain zones of the map. Um, we could select particular biomes. We could select last updated or lightly populated, but what we want is inhabited time. So this counts the amount of time you've spent in the chunk. So I want to find all chunks that I've spent less than 20 seconds in. That means I've probably not built anything in less than or equal to 20 seconds. Those are all the chunks in my world I visited, generated, but I spent less than 20 seconds in. That feels like a rather few, actually. Let's look at this. You can see I've clearly flown along here. And there's chunks along here that still haven't been included in that selection. So maybe I want to make adjust my selector. Make it 30 seconds. See what that looks like. Still, there's chunks here. I don't get picked up. Maybe in it. Chances are. Maybe. Yeah, chances are, if I've been in a chunk for less than a minute, I haven't stopped to build anything. There we go. Delete these. Action. Delete selected chunks. Wow, 36,000 chunks. And delete. There it goes. So now my world is a lot smaller. And we can. Oh, wow, you can delete whole regions if you zoom all the way out. Don't think I want to do that. Um, then go and open. If you want to, you can then go and open your save game again. Instead of going into the region here, you go into dim 1 or dim minus 1. Dim 1 is the end, dim minus 1 is the nether. And the, an easy way to remember that is nether is like below the overworld and the end is above. So let's go to the nether and into the nether region folder. And those are all the parts of the nether that visited. Let's use our filter on that again. Oh. Let's delete those chunks. 13,000. And we'll do the same for the... <coughs> we'll do the same for the end. Dim one region. There's all the parts of the end that we've been to. So another reason for doing this in the end is say you've visited all the end cities you can find within a reasonable distance. You might want to delete those chunks so that they regenerate again and collect more. And shulker cell cell shells, sorry to say. There's Right to the end that we've only been in less than a minute. Really haven't built anything anywhere except the end in end island. So I kinda wanna beat all of this and regenerate all of those end cities so that I can I can do more shulker shell really. Those deleted. So we can back into one point fifteen point two now. Load our world. You know, dear. Hey. There we go, there's some bees, and this is a flower forest that I've definitely passed 
through before, and obviously beforehand, there was no chance of a bee nest. There we go, there's our bee nest, and our... Where did our bees go? Go back inside. Anyway. Happy. I have got world generate 1.15 chunks wherever we do, wherever we deleted our old chunks, which is everywhere that we haven't built. And I hope that's useful for you guys, because it's definitely going to be useful useful for me again when I upgrade to 1.16 shortly. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you find this useful. I will. Definitely be keeping my bird like this now in 1.15. Oh, I also should have said take a backup before you do this in case you break anything or accidentally delete too much. And come back soon for some more videos. Got some good technical stuff coming up. Some some storage system videos to make the storage system. And Mumbo Jumbo's last concrete maker for Permacraft. Okay, see you soon. Check back again. Click subscribe and the bell icon if you want notified. See you again soon. Bye bye.